Good morning, Maddie. How are you? Oh, now you're not gonna scream? You're not gonna do your talky talks? Well, here we are the morning morning after the big Patriots Super Bowl comeback. I think it's awesome that the Super Bowl went to overtime and there was a big comeback. But I kind of wish it was the other way around. But Maddie didn't watch the Super Bowl. She was asleep before it was over. I didn't technically watch it either. I was at work for most of it. I watched the last like maybe seven minutes of it. Yeah? What was that? What's up? What's up? <gasps> what? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Well, anyway, that's that's pretty much all you're going to get out of here this morning. A uh, little bit of a dance and an ah. Right? And some spit. Yay. What was that you were saying? What are you saying? Nothing again. Maddie. What are you saying? You gotta talk. Why do you do this? You always stop talking as soon as I start filming. Yeah, is that why? Really? Yeah? Hey everybody, so I'm at home. Madeline is here laying down. She's kind of in and out sleeping. I fed her her apples and I don't know, did Danny mention it before? We have her on a feeding schedule. I think I mentioned it yesterday. So he did feed her the apples. He fed her two tablespoons of apples around 11, 11.30 and then um, around four o'clock I fed her another two tablespoons. And then later tonight, like eight or nine or so, I'm gonna give her another two tablespoons. And uh, that seems to be keeping her pretty happy right now. Um, I don't know, I'm, most people don't start feeding their babies solid foods until six months, but I mean she, in all honesty, she needs them. Like, it's kind of weird, um, I don't really know how to explain it, but she would, her metabolism, I guess, is kind of probably like mine really fast. So I could feed her like a six ounce bottle, but in an hour and a half she'd want another six ounces, and she would just keep eating and eating and eating, and so with the solid food, she's still getting food, getting nutrition and everything, but she doesn't want to keep eating all the time. And then with her reflux, when she's drinking that much liquid, it just comes up and then she needs to be on more medicine. So with the solid foods, it kind of keeps everything down, helps her reflux. And then she just seems happier. She's sleeping and she's relaxed and she's actually so far today, and I don't know if this is a good thing, but she's taken so far today about 10 ounces less of formula than what she normally takes in in a day. And I don't know if that's okay. So that kind of worries me a little bit. I mean, it might be okay, but I'm not sure. So if you've fed your baby solid foods and you've gone through this before, let me know what you guys did and how it all worked out. So I am eating another one of my salads again. I'm going to eat more than that, but for right now that's just what I'm eating. Madeline is here in her little 
a jumper, watching some TV. We're gonna put on, I think we're gonna watch Finding Dory now that um, Finding Dory is on Netflix. So I think we might watch Finding Dory. And um, I'm waiting on a call. Um, I don't know exactly when they're calling, probably in the next 30 minutes to an hour now, from the people that I'm hiring to do my moving for this house to, you know, get everything out of here and, and move to my new house. I'm waiting for them to call because like times and days and stuff are changing and getting all messed up. So um, <clears throat> I just need to like verify with them that they're still available and all that stuff. And I really hope they are, but we will see. So I'm waiting on that. And um, one thing I did today is I purchased a new laptop and a new vlogging camera. So I didn't vlog me picking those out or anything like that. Um, I'm really indecisive when it comes to those things. So for the cameras, I had a certain price range and my sister does um, like videography. She went to school for videography to be like a film producer and she's in LA right now um, working <clears throat> on the TV show Wicked Tuna on National, Geogra National Geographic. So if you watch that TV show, she is one of the editors. She sorts through um, footage to pick what's going to be on the TV show. So she is out there doing that. But anyways, I sent her the cameras that I liked. And I said, well, which one of these is best? Which one's the best for the money? You know, stuff like that. And so she helped me pick the camera. And for the laptop, um, I don't know how many tech people are out here who's going to get on my butt about certain things. But um, I like AMD processors. If you're not a tech person, that probably just went way over your head. Um, I am not an Intel person. All of my computers that I have had that have Intel processors have died within a year. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, they literally, by the end of that first year, they're no longer working. Like, I need to buy a new laptop. But all of my ones that have AMD, which include my desktop, which I built myself, and Danny's desktop, which I built for him, like, totally from scratch. I bought all the parts individually and put it together. Um, those both have AMD and they've been going for, oh, I think this is Danny's computer I think now is six years old and mine is five and a half or six years old now. It's going on that long. Um, all of my computers that have had AMD processors last for like upwards of eight years. Like I seriously have no problems with them, um, but my Intel ones, like I have a Sony Vio that has an Intel processor. It literally died within a year like it's not it's you can't use it anymore the thing was just crap and not only that but the sony bio itself was falling apart which was really frustrating so anyway all my intel processor computers don't last so i did buy one it is a quad core um amd processor it does have a graphics card i don't remember g4 something i can't remember exactly what it is um eight gigabits of ram but it can be upgraded to 32 and it has a one terabyte solid state hard drive so that is what i bought and i'm very excited about it but anyway i'm gonna go sit in here with her because i don't want her sitting here by herself do i no i don't hi baby so happy I am done watching Finding Dory with this little cutie pie and she slept through the entire movie, right? And literally, just as soon as the movie ended, you started squirming to wake up, which means that it is now time to have your third feeding. It's time for dinner for Miss Maddie, isn't it? Is it time for dinner? I'm gonna scoot you closer. Whoop. Did you like that? You moved. It's time for dinner. So, Madeline so far has had four tablespoons of apples and now this is just the rest of her apples i put six tablespoons in um, her little packet and so this is what's left i don't think it's really two tablespoons in there but that is what we measured for the entire day and so she is getting her six for the entire day aren't you this is the first day that you're having six this is really the first day that you're having more than like two because we normally only fed you like once a day and now you're actually on a routine aren't you you are and look my little candles are on flickering away I don't know if you can really tell but they're on flickering away so yes look at you are you ready for your apples let's get some apples go take this out Whoop. what happened all right here we go they're a little cold yeah that's cold isn't it oh boy Just mix them up, get them a little bit warm, huh? Are they a little cold? But you still want them. Yeah. So good, isn't it? Yes, it's so good. There we 
go. How is that? Is that yummy? Do you like that? I'm so glad. Bath time for the baby. Did you like your apples? Those were really good, weren't they? They were. So now we're just cleaning up and we're gonna have a bot. And we're gonna try to go to bed. Will that work? That'd be good for the baby? Yeah, I think so. That's what we're gonna try to do. So enjoy your bath, okay? Okay? Yeah, you're so smiley, cutie pie. What are we doing? What are we doing? Huh? We're just laying on our belly. So we just rolled over onto our belly, didn't we? We rolled over and now we're just kind of chilling out here on our belly. <laughs> yes, we are. So silly. What a cutie pie. So Madeline is here on her belly, just looking at her little monkey. And uh, she wants to be on her belly. She was screaming and crying and trying to roll over and then she finally got there. And so now she's on her belly and I don't know if she's going to fall asleep that way or what the deal is, but she might and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to keep an eye on her because I know the doctors don't like them sleeping on their belly. And uh, she usually doesn't roll back over when she sleeps on her belly. Like, I only let her do it supervised, but um, when she's on her back at night, she hasn't been rolling over at all. It's just during the day when she's awake and active and everything. So we'll see what she does here in the next couple of minutes. So far, it's a no-go on the sleeping. She was just here giggling and laughing and screaming and stuff. <laughs> so, I'm going to get some more light for you. It's not focusing very well, is it? There we go. She spit up all over the place. I don't know if you can see that. So, we'll see what she does. Maybe she'll go to sleep eventually. Well, Madeline uh, went to sleep for a little bit and then woke up and decided she was hungry again. So here she is feeding herself a bottle. Just getting too big too quick. She needs to stop, like, right now. But anyway, we are going to go to bed because Mommy is super, super sleepy and 5 a.m. comes really, really early. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.